All right, uh, welcome back. It is uh, Christmas Day, Christmas evening now, so we thought we would share some of our favorite Christmas memories with you, Dean. Well, there have been so many memorable games, playing in, watching, reporting on, but family uh, is and has always been number one with me. Only pleasant memories of my family and Christmas growing up, especially one when I was three, I got a basketball for Christmas, started dribbling immediately, and like Forrest Gump, <laughs> I kept on dribbling and dribbling and dribbling <laughs> outside our hot springs home on Terryland Drive. Rainy, cold, and little Dino got pneumonia. Oh, no. Most recently, though, I was overwhelmed with bringing our son Carson into the world and having wonderful stepsons with us. Christmas 1990 was un 1999 was unforgettable because of uh, the love. Boy, it always goes to family, doesn't yeah. it? And, and I, have a, I have a memory of my mom. We used to make fun of my mom. My mom was a teacher and was so meticulous in the way she did things, she wouldn't rip into packages. She would take a knife out and try to save the paper. And then her, her Christmas, uh, she, every Christmas she would proclaim, save the bows, to where we would make fun <laughs> of her even when she stopped doing that over the years. So save the bows was a big deal for us. I can remember not just getting my first basketball, but also getting my first leather basketball, Spalding Top Flight 100, and then proceeded to ruin it on the driveway outside <laughs> for sure. But then there's also just watching your kids. I mean, yeah. once you have the kids, there's nothing that beats that. There's you? not. Look, I've got a six-year-old daughter, 10-year-old son, 13-year-old son, and Christmas morning is as good as it gets. But I'm going to go back to my childhood and bring it back to sports. In the fourth grade, sorry, guys, I was a massive Notre Dame Fighting Irish fan, and all <laughs> I wanted was this Notre Dame letter jacket. My dad told me, you're not getting it. And I was, I was so upset. And then Christmas morning, thank goodness Santa Claus trumped dad because that letter jacket was right there. And I wore it proudly for a very long time. And in the sixth grade, I wanted and I needed a weight bench because I was going to train. I was going to get myself ready to try to be a college football player. I got that weight bench. I started training that January. And I mean, I had to slow down at some point, but it took me all the way through middle school, high school, and uh, really absolutely enjoyed that. So wow. nothing better than Christmas. Yeah. Wait, weight bench, weight was spelled a little differently for me. I'm not sure if I'm still waiting on it. All right, so my favorite Christmas memory, well, I always kind of associate Christmas with family. People ask what I want for Christmas, I say time with my family. So every christmas is special to me but uh the one i think that i'm going to cherish forever is the first with my son christmas of 2019 he was about two months old uh that just took things up another notch to what family and togetherness and, and christmas really is all about and everyone since then has just gotten even more and more special so uh every single christmas i get to celebrate with uh with my guy caleb is uh is the best christmas i get my favorite Christmas memory was some 45 years ago. I may be off a year. Late 70s, Atari came out with a game system for your TV, our 25-inch Curtis Mathis, a step up from Pong. You can play multiple games on it. Wasn't cheap, over $100. My parents said, no way, too expensive. But my older brother, we kept wishing and wanting. Christmas Day arrives, good presents, but no Atari until my dad leaves the room, comes back with a sack inside the Atari. A Christmas moment I will never forget. You know, for me, Christmas was such a fun time of the year growing up in Idaho, going sledding with my older brother. Give a shout out to him who's serving in the military overseas in Japan with the Air Force. But just spending time with family couldn't be any better than with all of my grandparents and under the tree with all the Christmas presents. And yes, I opened up first. That's just something I had to do. Merry Christmas.